you guys welcome back to the channel um so if you guys don't know who i am my name is adesia if you are returning then welcome 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 back today um i'm not exactly i say this pretty much every vlog but y'all know the vibes by now i don't know what's gonna happen um i only know a few things and what happens after that it's just what's gonna happen um but i finally got some things for my bathroom um so i do want to decorate that with you guys i'm gonna show you guys everything i got so i guess we're gonna be starting off this video with a vlog so i've got one big package right here and i've got another package here um let me not flash one i guess another package here um so i guess let me actually see this I don't know why they sent me this big huge box y'all but we gonna figure it out i know what's in it but i don't understand why the box is that big but we'll see um so i guess i'll open this one first so first things first on the realist but also <laughs> um i don't know what this is thanks for purchasing our product if you have any questions we'll be pleased to help what I don't know what this is, but we're about to find out. Um, let me back this up a little bit. Okay. Is that better? I think so. Okay, yeah. All right, so the first thing I got, you guys, is a shower curtain. And it's literally just a white shower curtain. And it's got, like, a waffle knit, which I really, really, really am so happy about. Because I don't know why, y'all, but for the past year... Ever, ever since I figured out what my aesthetic was, I have been in love with anything like linen and like a waffle knit pattern, like all of that. Love it. So I got a oh, um, shower curtain. I got a command. I got some command strips. Um, I'll explain why later. Um, and I guess we're about to find out what this is because I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh wow. I did not realize they were this small. Okay. So I ordered. Um, I ordered these little like peel and stick hooks for me to put in the bathroom because um for my towel but also for like my net sponge um i didn't realize they were this small but that's what these are so it comes in like a four pack um but yeah i didn't realize that it was i'm just taking it out of the pack because yeah it's hot um oh wow well i guess it's super sturdy you guys heard it when i dropped it it's actually i thought it was going to be like some plastic or something but no it's like i don't know it, it's, it's giving it kind of sounds like steel um kind of looks like it too a little bit and it feels like it but um i don't actually know what it's made of because i didn't read that part but yeah they're they're kind of small but i like them I, I think they're super cute um so i got those um okay so that's all that was in that bag. Let's open this big box. Find out what's in it. Oops. <laughs> Cause I'm stuck on it. Okay, so right now it's just a bunch of paper. Bruh. Y'all look at this. Like these. The new fashion. <laughs> oh my goodness. Such a child. Um, okay. You guys, I also ordered some more curtains. Um, and I know it sounds crazy. Like, why do I need more curtains for my bathroom? I don't have a window in my bathroom. But um I okay, so I did this thing in my first apartment. Where like I had a shower curtain and then like on the sides I did like actual curtains. It was really pretty. If I can find a video, I think I do have that video. I'll insert it right here somewhere. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of going for that same thing in this bathroom, except it's actually gonna be like a specific color theme. Um, the color thing I'm kind of going for for my restroom is um kind of like browns and nudes and white. Um, yeah. So I should probably mention this too before I even start this whole decorating portion. Um, so I know that like 
having a room aesthetic like the whole white minimal aesthetic kind of vibe it has been super popular on social media for like a while but i'm not doing this because of that y'all like my style is genuinely like super minimal but not just minimal like because i do like colors here and there but it's more like japandi so like if you guys don't know what japandi is just go on pinterest and type in japandi aesthetic and you'll see because i like I do like minimal like whites and creams but I also like browns and neutrals and like green um super random thing but like green is my favorite color actually like and if you guys have been on my channel for a while like my very first ever ever video that I posted which is deleted now but um <laughs> I had said that my favorite color is purple and that's because my favorite color was like purple for most of my life but I decided last year to I finally came to terms with like changing my favorite color because like as I went through that whole phase of like unlearning my past I realized that the only reason my favorite color was purple was because my mom's favorite color was purple and like I genuinely did like purple and I still like purple but I only choose like literally the way I chose my favorite color I was on my way to preschool one day and my mom told me it was my birthday and I was like what's a birthday and she she told me and then um she asked me what my favorite color was and i was like well what's your favorite color and she said purple and i was like, okay that's my favorite color too and from then on my favorite color was always purple but then last year like when i was you know i did that whole six month fast and everything like that found my aesthetic and realized like i like green like green is green like it's just i don't know it makes me feel calm and it gives life like it, may, it reminds me of life i guess because of plants and like trees and stuff it just really makes me feel like it reminds me of life literally it reminds me of god it makes me feel calm so like and not just any old nasty like well i'm not saying nasty but not any old boring green it's got to be like a leaf green like life-giving green like plant green like sage a soft sage kind of green i don't know how to explain it but if i can find something in this house that is green as a matter of fact where's my phone this is kind of a this is almost perfect actually yeah, this is almost the perfect color. Ooh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't like loud noises, y'all. Like, they, they make me feel, I don't like, I just don't like it. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's just, I just went off on a tangent. But I just had to explain to you guys, like, yeah. So, that's the vibe I'm going for for my house. And also, one of the things I'm planning to do with this home um, when, when it comes to decorating and, like, furnish, furnishing and all that stuff like that, I do not, I repeat, I do not want to furnish this house based off of who might come over here once a year. <laughs> We're not doing that. So like, I'm not going to have a dining room table. I'm not, I don't need all that. I don't, I'm just, it's just me and God here. And like, don't get me wrong. If like people come over, that's all cool and nice. But like, I don't need a dining room table. Like who's going to sit at the table and down with me besides God? Like, so I don't know. I'm really specifically trying to furnish this home specific to my aesthetic what brings me calm and just making sure i feel god at all times as i specifically pray for and if you saw my apartment testimony if you haven't seen it go check it out i might even link it below for y'all but yeah um then you know like yeah i just i specifically pray for a place for me and god and that's what i want this place to represent me and god and the gifts that he's given me the way he the things that he's given me that makes me feel calm and those colors make me feel calm so if you are looking for a very colorful 90s inspired place this is not that i'm not judging anybody who likes that it's just not me so yeah now that i said all that um yeah so these are the curtains i got from amazon um these actually kind of have a really nice pattern too and i don't think i realized that when i ordered it should i wash these like is it wrong if i don't wash these before i put them up i feel like i should wash them I'm gonna wash them. I'm gonna wash that and the shower curtain. Um, yeah, so I ordered that and then what else? Um, I don't know what this is. Well, let's see. It's crazy because oh I was about to say I order stuff and you don't remember. I think it's just because I'm on camera, because if I was on the camera, I would have been like, oh I know what that is. But I know what this is now. I ordered a um a shower head because when i was living with my dad and i did my room transformation i was working on the restroom and i i did a different shower head in there and i really like um rainfall shower heads but also 
Um, I, I like the black, like everything in the restroom, like the appliances, like the faucet and stuff, it's all steel and like, it's like silver. I don't, I don't really like that. And I know that this is not gonna match the handle, but I'm okay with that because I genuinely wanted a black rainfall shower head. So that's what I ordered. And I, even though the colors may not match, you know, I got the hooks and stuff to make sure that um, it blends some kind of way. I don't know. It's gone. It, I don't know. I'm just going to be okay with it. Okay. Yeah. So I ordered this off of Amazon. This is a shower head. Super cute. This is cute. Oh, and I like that these are silicone. Okay. So these little, which I'm called thing with Jane Langs, um, they're silicone. So like, that's nice. It'll be easy to clean. Um, when it comes time to clean the shower. Um, and I think this is probably the tape. Let me see. Because this does, according to the comments, comes with the tape. The like water tape that you put on the thing to... Okay, that's not the tape. It's just this. Um, with this. And then it does also come with a little thing on the side. Thingamajing, langjing. Where are my words today? Um, the handheld handheld shower head yeah and then this part that goes on the wall so why is it bent up like that mm. the last thing that was in that box was this um uh, i ordered some wall shelves to put on the wall um yeah i'm gonna open it right now and make sure it's what i ordered okay i don't have any scissors so Gotta open it like a man, you know? Yeah. Okay. Like a man is not working, so I'm peeling the tape. Okay. So, they look like this. Um, so, technically, this part will be the part that goes in the wall, and it'll sit like this. And it does come with the, like, screws and stuff, and the, um, gosh, I forgot what you call these, but basically, like, you insert them into the wall before you put the screws in so that you don't like you know i don't know yeah that's what it's for so basically it's like so you don't make up so you don't mess up the wall i don't know how to explain it but i know what i'm saying so you guys just gonna have to bear with me because my words are not wording today um but yeah so that's what i bought these for i bought these for me to put over the toilet because i wanted some over the toilet storage um and i was gonna get like over this toilet ladder storage kind of thing but there is a rail over the um like a rail over the toilet and I didn't want to get like a over the ladder storage and have to send it back just because it won't fit because of a reel. So yeah, but I also got these command strips for that um, because I know I said in the previous video, like this apartment doesn't care if you put like holes in the wall and stuff. But for one, I don't have like a hammer or a toolkit or anything. I need to get one that I'm thinking about it. But also, um, I don't want to put holes in the wall like i wouldn't mind it but like what happens if i change my mind and i decide to get a ladder shelf i decide to like what happens if one day i get a toolkit i decide to measure and i want to get a ladder shelf holes in the wall are not going to be cute and number two i don't have a um what do you call it a stud finder so i can't like i don't want to be going in there putting holes in the wall and i don't know if it's a stud right there or not because that would not be good and i just i just i don't need that so um we're gonna try it with command strips and see what happens i'm not planning on putting anything heavy on these shelves anyway these command strips hold up to three pounds and i'm not planning on having three pounds on these so like what happens is what's gonna happen like we just gonna have to see so we're gonna try um and then also you guys the other day i went to target and trader joe's um again for some more stuff the only thing i got out of trader joe's was some eucalyptus because i'm a youtube i'm a eucalyptus girly okay eucalyptus in the shower is where it's at and i'm a plant girly y'all know this so um i do need to cut off these parts i don't know if that's just for me having because it was like the other day and i've had these sitting here since i haven't put them in the water or anything i'm wrong for that um but yeah so the first thing i got from target was just a tension rod and i got a tension rod just for me to put the curtains on these um curtains here um, to put above the shower curtain Let's sit that there um i really didn't get that much from target um i got 
Um, okay. I got this. It's like a woven, um, what do you call this? It's a basket of woven, woven over the tank storage with lid. Um, so y'all, as I said, I've really been in love with like woven textures and like rattan and stuff like that. So I did get this box. It's going to go on one of these shelves. Matter of fact, let me see. It'll fit. Okay. It's too big. I don't care though. Um, I ended up, I was planning on like sitting it like that. But I'm guessing when it's on the wall, maybe you won't notice. Let's hope so. And then I also got just a regular shower liner for the restroom. In fact, I'm gonna pause this video and go ahead and put these shower curtains in the wash because I don't wanna be doing this in a, all day and I have to go to work later, so I wanna get this done before I go to work. All right, you guys, I'm back. Um, but yeah, um, when I was putting up the when I was putting the curtains, if you guys hear that by the way in the background, that's the washing machine. So sorry. Um, I just realized that I didn't get any shower curtains. I meant like the shower curtain rings. And I didn't order any because when I ordered the shower curtain, it said it came with it. But they're not in there. So I might not even finish this video today. It's kind of got me feeling some type of way. No, it really does have me feeling some type of way. Like, why would y'all treat me like that? Why would y'all do that to me? Amazon, what's good? Um, but yeah, so as I was showing y'all, I got a regular shower liner, but I guess I won't be able to put it up today. That's all for that bag. And in this bag, um, I just have this, um, it's technically a soap pump. Um, I got the last one too, so I'm happy about that because this is literally the last one in the store and I've been to Target several times since and they still don't have these in stock. So I'm so glad I got this. Um, but I'm not gonna use it as a soap pump. I'm using it for my mouthwash. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clean this out thoroughly and sanitize it and I put my mouthwash in there. So that way I don't have to keep my mouthwash in its original plastic bottle. I have me a little glass to put it in. Um, and then I got this as well. Um, like I said, the theme for this bathroom is like whites and creams and stuff. I don't know, on this camera, it looks like it's showing up as like pure white, but it's not. It's super creamy, like, it's a creamy oatmeal color. Um, let me see if I can show you guys in comparison. Like, please. It looks, okay, I think that, okay, that's better, yeah. I don't know, if, if it's showing up pure white, it's not white. It's like a super creamy oatmeal color, which I really, really like. Um, and then the last thing I got, um, seat paper, um, was a towel because I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, you guys, but I have been air drying when I've been getting out of the tub because I don't have a towel. I just, it didn't, it didn't cross my mind forever when I moved in. Like, so I've been, yeah, doing, doing that. Um, but I finally got a towel and technically, okay, first of all. Can we get into it? Like, can we can we get into it? Like, this waffle knit pattern is everything. Like, please get into it. But also, um, you guys, I have been eyeing this set for a while. It is the Casa Luna set, and this is technically supposed to be a decorative towel, but I don't care. It's gonna be a towel for me. Um, and I love it. It's 100% cotton, so I had to get it because I was debating between this one and the organic cotton. And I was gonna go with the organic cotton because it's organic. But this waffle knit pattern, baby, like I just, I had to have it, so I got it. Um, but yeah, it is the Casa Luna set. I've been eyeing this set since I've been, since I was at my father's house, y'all. So I'm telling y'all, I had, to, I just had to, like, look at her, please. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. So I got that. Oh, let me put this in a wash. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that's everything I got so far for the bathroom. Um, I do still need to buy like um, a trash can um, and just a few other things. But as far as like decorating goes, like that's pretty much it. I do need to get a trash can and I need to get like um, a floor mat and like a toilet seat cover and stuff like that. But I'm not like pressed about it. I'll get it when I get it. Um, so yeah, that's everything I have so far. And I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up some of the stuff in the, in the bathroom. But if I don't find any curtain hooks and any of this stuff, Amazon, we're gonna have, we, we, we gonna need to talk. 
We're gonna eat the salt because what, it, what? Why would you treat me like that? Now I gotta go. I can't even finish my whole video. Like, not feeling that. But yeah, so we're gonna do what we can today, and the rest we'll just finish at a different time. So that's 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 the that's the beauty in being spontaneous with these videos because now I have something else to do. Guys, it's fixed. I'm so excited. I had to get up there and put some more um Teflon tape up there because when I did it the first time I didn't put a lot because I actually thought I was putting too much, but I guess I didn't put enough and it's fixed now. So I'm gonna show you guys. It's so pretty. Can you even see the water? Yes, no, I can't tell. But it's fixed. It's a whole new day. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about something. So you guys know that I like to be open and honest with you guys on this channel about my life and like basically um, the way God leads me. Um, so I just want to talk to you guys about something because um, it's not something I've ever personally seen talked about I don't think not that I can recall right this moment um but today is Thanksgiving day and um I'm at home I'm actually getting ready to go for a walk right now but um I will not be participating in the celebrations today um and before I continue to discuss why I just want to put a disclaimer out there that I'm not judging anybody for what they choose to do um or how they choose to participate, celebrate, whatever. Um, but about a year ago, um, last year actually, I stopped celebrating Thanksgiving because um, I was talking to God one day and I just asked him like, is this biblical, is this right? Like, am I sinning or am I participating in idolatry? And so let me let me let me let me let me see if I can sit you guys up here because holding out was just like a bit much. But um, yeah, so I asked, I specifically asked God, like, am I wrong for what I'm doing? Okay, that's better. Um, yeah, so I specifically asked God, like, am I wrong for participating in this? Um, I don't know, just the Holy Spirit was convicting me. And so last year I chose not to participate um, in any festivities um, or visiting family, anything like that. Um, and this year I decided that I'd I, I think I'm completely done with celebrating Thanksgiving um, because personally, I do feel like it's a form of idolatry. Um, when you, you know, go back and look at the origins of Thanksgiving, like in school, they taught us that it was like when the pilgrims came over and, you know, they held this big feast to give thanks and et cetera. But really it was, it, Thanksgiving was, you know, the genocidal, what was it? It was like the complete genocide of Native American tribes and I don't want to be a part of that for one but also I don't want to be a part of giving thanks reverence celebration to a false narrative because that's giving that's basically a false god like and that's just the way I see it um so I have chosen to not to participate and the only reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because you guys know like I tell y'all um when it comes to following God like if you're following god because you think that your life is just gonna get easier like it's not it actually gets harder and that's not to discourage anybody but that's just for me to be honest because i want people to understand like following god means that sometimes you will have to do things that make you uncomfortable like it's not or not even just doing things that make you uncomfortable but doing things that are also um that like refraining from things that you want to do um and that includes things that aren't just like when, like how people talk about there's a fight between your flesh and your spirit it really is a fight between your flesh and your spirit but fleshly desires aren't always like material things they could be things like refraining from um spending time with your family like for me today that's what that is because like my family is gathering and celebrating thanksgiving because they do celebrate thanksgiving they cook and do all that and for people who are like super close to their family you know that might bother them now for me it's not necessarily like it it bothers me to a certain extent because yes i want to go see family members that i usually don't see on a you know on a consistent basis but at the same time it's not bothering me as much because they're cooking a bunch of food that i don't eat anyway 
but yeah, I just said all that to say basically like when it comes to following God, like if you're fully and wholeheartedly devoted to this, like you're gonna have to put in work, like you're gonna have to make decisions and sometimes those decisions will hurt you or they may hurt the people that are around you because I'm not, I know that my family's not necessarily okay with the fact that I'm not coming around, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just in a bus, sitting sideways, waiting to look in all the time. Time gets a ticking, then it takes a toll. Told you I couldn't really draw the line. Line ringing, saying that you told you things, things that you really kept inside. Sidetracking me when I was good to you. You were somebody I would stand behind. I know you like to drink. So My packages are here. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the camera and show you guys what I got. First thing I got was a set of um, shower curtain hooks. So I just got some regular black ones. I am so excited for this, you guys. I got a 30 piece glass storage and what is this? Bakeware set. And then the other thing I got was um, a 32 piece set. I don't even know what you want to call this. Bakeware, dinnerware, cookware, all of that. You guys, super excited about this right here. 32 pieces, okay? So I'm about to open it right now. you guys it's it's like a sand the color is sand and it does give like a sandy cream color but it's got i do like the gold details but i also really like i'm gonna try to get up and show you guys it's got gold detailing on the inside as well like those look at that dotted pattern so that's really cute so there's that pan little pot um, i've got another pot here with the lid um i've got this pot as well with the lid and then I've got two frying pans. So two frying pans. And then it also comes with um, some utensils, some silicone utensils, which I really, really like. So it has these tongs. Um, and then I've got all these different, like I've got two spatulas. So two of these. And then um, these spoons here, super cute. And I love that they're silicone. Silicone. Um, and then I've also got um, measuring spoons. And I'm so, so happy about this because I've been needing these when I've been cooking and now I don't have to buy any. And they already match, so I really like that. We have those and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wait, that's only six. So it's got six um, measurements on it and a pizza cutter. And then um, I also it also comes with these protectors for the actual pots and pans. So you put these in between your pots and pans. So that's really nice. Um, and then it also comes with two of these mini mitt mittens, which are super cute. Like, come on, get into this. And this texture, oh my gosh, this pattern I meant to say, super cute and these parts like right here are silicone so i don't have to worry about messing up the actual cotton fabric super nice um and then it also comes with okay, let me just pick this up it comes with like three um pan baking pans so i've got the regular square baking pan this large baking pan and a really bigger 
baking pan. And it also comes with a silicone baking mat. So like when you take your food out of the oven and you need to sit it on something, um, you don't have to sit it directly on the counter. It's really nice. Super excited about that. And then the last thing, it's also a pizza pan. Like get into her. Stop playing with her, okay? So that's everything in the box, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. Well, I need to wash everything and then put it up. But yeah, I'm super, 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 super grateful and super happy about this. Like, you guys, I would never stop talking about the goodness of God. Like, it's only crazy until it happens. It's only crazy until it happens. Oh,